everyone thank you for joining me for sketchbook sunday episode 42 and happy mother's day to all the moms because the day that this will be posted is mother's day so thank you moms for raising humanity and dealing with all of us <laughs> in this episode i'm doing three separate studies the first two are leaf studies of two different ferns i have growing in my studio and the last is a sunflower study although i've always had plants throughout my life this year i started gardening outdoors again if you watched some of my videos from back in 2014 and 2015, I did a lot of gardening and used to paint my own plants and flowers all the time and basically grew my own references for art and I really enjoyed that. I think the art became so much more special to me because I was painting something that I basically nurtured and cared for and watched grow over an extended period of time. I put a lot of effort into them and and nature is just so beautiful and intelligent. It's immeasurable in the forms it embodies. And just to have a tiny little piece of it, like a tiny little piece, just to help it thrive and be rewarded with flowers or lush green leaves makes me so stupidly happy. I don't know why. <laughs> Back in February, I planted sunflowers in our backyard and I watch them grow and bloom and sunflowers are just so precious and adorable. Um, they're beautiful. I remember waking up early in the morning after three months of watering them almost every day and I look outside and I saw the first bloom just standing in the sunshine. I was so excited. I ran out there and started taking pictures to post to Instagram. I was just so happy. I had to share. <laughs> so the sunflower I'm painting here is that flower, the first one that bloomed this year. And for the last few weeks, they've all just been one by one blooming and making sunflower seeds. And I just get so excited to see them. I think that's really all it takes to make me happy. I just need my plants to do well and thrive. And I need time to paint them <laughs> and make art. So basic necessities aside, I just need plants and art. And I'm happy. That's it. That's all I need. I think I'm just very simple in that way, I guess. Sunflowers are also special to me because they remind me of growing up in Ukraine. I remember my grandparents uh, would go to our family farm and there was just a field of sunflowers growing and they were giant, like monster sunflowers, especially compared to little me. Like I was small i think i was five years old but i have this memory um i think i was five or six years old and so i just remember walking through them but it was like being in a forest because they were so massive compared to me i mean they're massive compared to a normal sized person like russian mammoth sunflowers uh they just grow to be huge 12 feet tall those are the ones i planted this year but they didn't get that big except for one it's like already over the fence it's probably seven or eight feet tall. I think the dirt that I planted them into didn't quite have enough nutrients in them. So next time I'm gonna do it a bit differently because I want them to grow to be like 18 feet tall. And so sunflowers always just have that special memory in my mind. Yeah, so it just, that's something that I've been very invested in lately is my sunflowers. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting them constantly to my story. So you've probably already seen them. I've just been completely swooning over them. And they will probably make many more appearances in my art going forward because I'm planting some more pretty soon because all the blooms that I have now are coming to an end. I think there's just one left that has to bloom and it's that giant one that's already over the fence. So after the last one blooms, like the idea of not having any more sunflowers blooming to look forward to makes me very sad. So, <laughs> so I've got to plant more. Um, which I have tons of seeds from the ones that already bloomed and ripened, so I'm gonna have just countless sunflowers growing. They're gonna take over my life, they're gonna take over the block. Next thing you know, you're gonna read about Florida on the news, and it's just gonna be about sunflowers, and I'm gonna be on the run, obliterating Florida with sunflowers. What am I talking about? I don't know where this is going. What? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Good job, Lena. Way to, way to just derail and go far away from wherever it is that you started. Um, well, I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I'm wishing you a beautiful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.